What's up y'all, I'm Jordy, and today I'm bringing you a Charizard team, and I'm bringing it to an A++ tournament. Now A++ is something that began before Regulation H, and it is Regulation H, so don't click away. This is a Regulation H team, and these are Regulation H matches. And I went with Charizard because I love Charizard. I don't think Charizard is necessarily very good in the meta, but it hits really hard. I was looking for something that can Oko our Chaladon, and Terrafire Charcoal Solar Power Sun Boosted Overheat can take out our Chaladon in one hit. So that's what we've got here. We've also just got incredible offensive pressure. We've got Tailwind Murkrow with Sunny Day to set Sun for Charizard, or we got Torkoal to set Sun for Charizard and boost it with Helping Hand, or we got Mousehold to U-turn into Torkoal in case they try to be funny and set their own rain, and then I can U-turn slower than that, bring in Torkoal, make sure the sun goes up. Uh, Murkrow can also pair with Garchomp here with Terra Ground, Life Orb, Earthquake. Very strong. And since I have Haze, I don't have to worry too much about Intimidate. Uh, so I went with Life Orb instead of like Clear Amulet. Uh, same th deal with Charizard. Overheat into Haze, get rid of the special attack drops, keep spamming Overheat. And finally, I've got Farigarath and Mousehold. Farigarath Mousehold can do a little follow me trick room shenanigans, or this Mousehold is just fully offensive. It's Technician, Wide Lens, Terra Normal, Pop Bomb. This thing can just delete button something as long as it's not a ghost. And the big ghosts in the meta? They don't like seeing a Charizard or a Gar Garchomp, let me tell you. Uh, and then Torkoal can just eruption if you do get Trick Room off with this Farigarath, which is a pretty unique set. I went with Terra Electric Thunderbolt, uh, because apparently it gets Thunderbolt. Uh, and that boost can do a lot of damage, it can really threaten Pelipper, other water types that give this team a little bit of trouble. But anyways, I hope I do well. Let's jump on into it. Okay, here we go. It's the team. Uh, the Archaladon is Terra Grass, it doesn't have a dragon move. Uh, I kind of like that for my Garchomp. What I don't like is the... Well, it's Water Terra Annihilate. Might be able to pull something off with follow me redirection. Um, oh, it's so scary. I don't know where to start. Um, Annihilate is terrifying, but so is our Chaladon. Our Chaladon, I think they would. I think they're gonna go Mouse Ape. If they go Mouse Ape. I could go follow me. And their mouse is Ghost. Uh, but I could do Mouse Hold Charizard. Have Torkoal in the back. That way I can either Pop Bomb their Ape when they Terra it. Or switch into Torkoal and blow it up if they don't Terra it. Beat up Taunt, Protect, Follow Me on the mouse. And their Terra Ghost on the mouse too. And then finally, I guess it's Garchomp. Just because it's faster than Annihilate and can hit it pretty hard. Oh, this is a really scary matchup. <laughs> oh, I was re I'm ready for our Chaladon Pelipper. Yeah, at, le at least in team building I was ready for our Chaladon Pelipper. But this team, that's a cool card. It gives it gives Chandelure vibes, and I've got Chandelure, so it's cool. Mousehold Annihilate. Exactly what I thought. It doesn't make this any funner. Alright, most likely not going to go for a Rage Fist, I would guess. Beat up, taunt, follow me for that. No, beat up, taunt, follow me, protect. Yeah, they do have protect. Throw heat wave. I don't hate that. I don't hate U turn. Terrifier heat wave. Uh, mouse hold swap. Show me Pelipper. Ah, yeah. Beautiful. 
show me no Terra on your uh, Annihilate 2, please. All right. Well, the Terra on Charizard is gonna go first, of course. Put put the put the candle on the Charizard. Uh, I guess it could still be a Terra from Annihilate, but that makes Pop Bomb scary next turn. They are gonna Terra the Annihilate. Fine. Um, you're not gonna KO anything, because if you're going for a 100 power Rage Fist, Charizard probably eats, and that'd be risky in front of a mouse hole to follow me. So I think it's a Drain Punch, probably. But I'm going to take this opportunity to change the weather real fast. So I want this Heat Wave doing damage. Uh, does it KO Annihilate? No, no way. But it should do big damage. If it KOs the Pelipper, I'll be very happy, too. That might actually happen, since it's a Sash Pelipper. No, it doesn't. Okay. A burn on Annihilate! Oh, that's huge. That's so huge. Oh, no. Ooh, that's so bad. Oh, no. Oh, no. Uh, protect Weather Ball, Tailwind Hurricane. Oh, no. Oh, boy, that's really bad for them. That could not be worse. Uh, I think I want to just get Torkoal out now. I guess into the mouse. And I'll throw another Heat Wave. But wow! Should it just be an Overheat into Annihilate? No, I don't want them to uh, get sneaky and Tailwind here. So I'll throw a Heat Wave. Even though it's going to power up Rage Fist. And I think Pelipper's going to swap. Oh, but that burn! That burn is so big. Okay, yeah, they're just gonna let me take Pelipper. Cool. That's four Heat Wave connects so far for me. And one burn. Using up all, all my luck early. Alright, what do you got for me? Rage Fist into the Torkoal slot. Nope. Okay. Whew. Okay, that. So actually, if Drain Punch just did double the damage into Torkoal, I still called that Rage Fist correctly. Maybe they, they probably would have played differently if I hadn't gotten the burn, but it might not have mattered too much. Uh, here's our Chalodon. So that'll be a Pop Bomb into the Ape, and the Archalodon has what? Snarl... Electroshot, Flash Cannon, Body Press with an Assault Vest. Yeah, so that's a that's a Pop Bomb, the Annihilate, and Overheat into Archaladon play. Overheat should KO most Archaladons. I think max special defense, max HP with a Calm Nature can play. And that's a Terrifier in the Sun, I mean. Yep, there, go, there goes the Pop Bomb. Did one of those crit? Wow. Okay, Mouse. Overheat. Connects. Charizard is not missing. Show me the KO. Goodbye, Archaladon. And now it's just a mouse hold left. Which only has beat up to attack with, so it has no shot. Fantastic. Whew. All right. In case I see this person again later, I kind of want to see speed tiers. So I'm wondering if I can protect Overheat here. Oh, battle's just cancelled. Alright, GG. Oh, some people get all the luck. Alright, Scarf Typhlosion is really scary. Uh, everything looks pretty normal to me. Faint Mouse Hold, gotta keep that in mind. Pretty normal Murkrow, same as mine. Friend Guard, Mouse Hold. Okay. How do we want to play this? Um, Guard Chomp? And Char I mean, Charizard can take an eruption, maybe? <laughs> uh, and throw back some huge damage in the sun. They do have one fake out, potentially. 
Uh, Torkoal seems really strong, though. Torkoal seems insanely strong. Torkoal goes so crazy here. I gotta go Torkoal. Uh, I'm gonna go... I'm gonna go for Rigoraf, Mousehold. Torkoal. And then probably Garchomp, I'm thinking. Could also just be Charizard. Uh, but I'm gonna go Garchomp this time. Uh, I don't know if I got this right, and I only got one chance to get this right. I do think Trick Room Mode is the way. The question is, uh, what do I do if it's just Typhlosion, Murkrow, Sunny Day, Eruption, Terrifier? Oh, it is that. <laughs> it is that. Great. Oh no, that's really bad. Okay, that was the worst possible lead. I lose this now. Uh, I Trick Room. I don't know if- I don't think i take that. They could always go for Overheat, but then Follow Me is too obvious. I'm gonna Trick Room Protect. There's, there's no way I get this Trick Room. This is this is game right here. This is Sunny Day. Oh, they didn't Terra. Hang on, they did not Terra. There is a chance I live this. Come on, Farigaraf, you got this. I trained you to be pretty bulky. Yes! Oh yeah. Let's go. Whoo! Let's so go. Awesome. Okay, they could definitely Terra Ghost their Murkrow. What swaps do they have? Um, I think I Thunderbolt just to get some damage there. <laughs> And I'll U-turn out on the Typhlosion as well. Okay, they didn't actually Terra the Murkrow, so I could have gone for Pop Bomb the whole time there. Alright, but that, that means I'm getting Torkoal in, which is fantastic. And for this slightly weak interruption, Garchomp's fine. Garchomp will be A-OK. -okay. Cindy Lou did... Ooh, that was actually pretty decent. Single target's insane. Alright, thank you for the sun. Torkoal is here now. Your fire type swap in is Primarina. But you're gonna take an eruption and you're going to take a stomping tantrum. I'm gonna throw a Stomping Tantrum at Typhlosion. I think that's more likely to swap out. I think Murkrow might even stay in, try to get a foul play if it can live in Eruption. Which maybe it can, I don't know. Yeah, Typhlosion swaps, that's gotta be Primarina. Oh, no, it's a mouse. Okay, the, uh, with Friend Guard, the Murkrow is definitely gonna live Eruption. Do you have the juice to stop Torkoal, though? Because Mouse is going down, most likely. 
I don't think Mouse can live this. I got Flame Plate. Whoo! There goes almost all of Murkrow. That's so sad. I clicked Stomping. I should have clicked Dragon Claw. Foul Plate doesn't take me out and does take him out, though. There we go. And Stomping Tantrum fails. <laughs> Meaning I get a double Stomping Tantrum next turn if I get the chance to move. Most likely I won't, though. Alright, that was two turns of Trick Room. Two more remain. Oh, a bear? Wah, 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 wah. Two turns of sun. Two turns of trick room. Bear could protect here. So eruption. And just in case that doesn't take Typhlosion, I stomping it. And if they attack Torkoal and not Hyper Voice, then I get a double stomping into the bear after, if Typhlosion does go down. Okay, it does protect, but we double Typhlosion. You didn't get away with anything, and now I get a single target eruption. Your odds were actually better at living this eruption, but if you're going for double protect, I've just got faster Pokemon. Whoo, Torkoal, let's go! Fire is the only offense you need. I'm shocked to not see Pre-Marina. I'm completely shocked. But yeah, it's Eruption. Last turn of Trick Room. I should just protect my Garchomp. Just in case this thing gets the double protect. It goes for it, but he doesn't get it. Fine. Because the next turn I get a Helping Hand Dragon Claw. Or just a Dragon Claw and try to attack. I don't know. But it's fine. No single target eruption is not KO in this bear. Ain't no chance. Yeah, goodbye, Fazbear. Whoa, 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 whoa. GG's and well played. Fire v fire. Fire one. All right, we got Harold HD up here. Oh boy, I know this team. This team is really good. Uh, <laughs> I'm terrified. Uh, lots of answers to Mousehold, so it's not Mousehold. Uh, I think it's Murkrow Charizard. If the Ndidi wants to Trick Room, I can just set Sun and blow everything up. Because it's Goggles Ndidi, it's not Psychic Seed. Uh, Specs High Dragon makes sense. In which case, that's a little scary. I guess I could Tailwind Protect, see what they lock into. Um, Tailwind plus Golden Go, I'm not too scared of. It's Terra Dragon Golden Go with Life Orb. It's a little scary. Uh, it's Sun and Charizard. That I know. That part I'm confident in. The rest? They don't have any priority. I guess Garchomp is good. Garchomp hits everything really hard. And if they go for a Dragon Terra or... If High Dragon's just kind of sitting there, ready to get Dragon Clawed, that's great. And then if I'm getting Tailwind up, should it be Mouse Hold? I don't want Mouse Hold. I could have Torkoal just in case they Trick Room. Yeah, I'm bringing Torkoal just in case they either Trick Room, or if I can't get Sun up for whatever reason. Because it's possible I could Tailwind, go down, never get Sun. Oh boy. And this is just a best of one. I... We, ha we have no chance to adapt. I mean, I'm sure there's a very good chance we meet again in Top Cut. I mean, this is a really good player we're facing. Assuming I get to Top Cut, that is. You have a bar down at the bottom of the screen. Probably tells you how far I made it. I don't get to see that. Uh, Indeedee Hydreigon. Okay. Hmm. I could... Sunny Day and try to overheat this Hydreigon. If it gets redirected into Indeedee... That's kinda bad. 
No, don't run. I'm not done yet. I'm not out of it just yet. Uh, I could also hard swap Torkoal. I don't see any point in that. I'm gonna Sunny Day. I'm gonna Terra Fire. They get Trick Room up. They don't want Trick Room. I'm gonna Sunny Day. Terra Fire. Overheat at High Dragon. I don't remember how bulky this High Dragon is, and it could have changed since I last saw it. There is a chance it lives this, depending on bulk. So this isn't this isn't a gimme, but I am a timid Charizard, so I'm faster at least. There's no follow me. They're gonna let me hit the High Dragon. And I connect onto the High Dragon. And the High Dragon is a bye dragon. Let's go! Goodbye, dragon. Get out of here. Woo! Big start. Now, do you trick room? Just hyper voice. Fine. Fine. You crit my tiny torn. That is so fine. Because, yeah, you got Sneasler, but you're not going to catch up. You don't have Protect on Sneasler. Okay. The play could be target Charizard and follow me because there's no way Heat Wave is going to KO at minus two. And if I go for Tailwind, they could Trick Room. So I think I'll just Haze Protect this turn. If I still have Tor uh, Tiny Torn at the end of the turn, I can Tailwind next turn and blow everything up. Okay, it's a follow me. I'm guessing it's a hit into Charizard. Let's get rid of that minus two special attack, thank you very much. And a Dire Claw into Charizard, let's go! Let's go! We got rid of their special defense boost, we got rid of our special attack drop. And now I'm going to Tailwind, and hopefully I'm faster than Sneasler. If their Sneasler is invested to be faster than a Charizard under Tailwind, great. Uh, that's not normal, though. Let me make sure I did everything right. Sun is up. Charizard has no boosts. I don't have Tailwind up yet. I will Tailwind. Heat Wave. Charizard, let's go! Let's go in! Show me that you're faster than this Sneasler, please. Please. <laughs> Alright, Tiny Torn's got the Tailwind. And we're faster, and we double connect. This Charizard does not miss. Get out of here, both of you. Boom, boom. Yeah. Yeah, Heat Wave. Woo! This ain't no Chi Yu, this is Char Yu. Woo! Oh, yeah. Oh, yes, yes. Yes. Woo! And then all they got left is Murkrow. GG. Ooh, boy. This is a, this is a fun one. I'll just, I'll just click Foul Play and Overheat seals the deal. Battle is canceled. GG's, man. Whoo, Charizard. All right, here we are versus Evan. I was quite scared to face Evan. Uh, because of the team, uh, Mousehold isn't great. There's two Terra Ghosts on that team, plus a Ghost on its own. And I wanted, I want to sweep with Torkoal. But there's, still, first of all, there's a lot of fire resistances. And, uh, Torkoal may not work because getting Trick Room might not be doable. There's a couple things that can do some big damage to Farigarath. Garchomp? seems okay. Charizard Murkrow seems like okay. Not amazing. I do think I want to match Tailwind. I've got faster Mons, for the most part. Murkrow Garchomp. Mm. 
Murkrow, Chomp, Charizard, Torkoal? Ooh, I don't know. Just... <sighs> I'm hoping just the threat of Ferrigarath is enough. Oh boy. Uh, I, I wanted Torkoal as well because Charizard is useless without Sun. And Murkrow may not be able to get Tailwind and Sun. We'll find out. This is this is gonna be a fire match. Kill a watch will high dragon. Alright. Probably forces the Terra Fire out of High Dragon. Or does it? I think I'm gonna go Tailwind. Because as easily as it could be a, it could also just be like a swap to Primarina or something, or Incineroar. I think Tailwind works. I'm just gonna click Dragon Claw actually. No Terra. No shot. No way. No way. No way did you just give me that. Yes! Okay. Got inside your head there. No way Jordy would just click Dragon Claw. Let's go. Oh, oh. Oh, I just got a message. Forgot to click Terra. Don't mind me. Oh no! <laughs> <laughs> oh no! Oh no! Okay, Pre Marina, Protect, Call Mine, Moonblast, Hyper Voice. Oh no! <laughs> oh! Okay. Yikes. Okay. Do I want to save Terra? <laughs> oh, no. oh, that's not great. Let's foul play the kilowatt roll. No. Let's sunny day. Terra ground. Stomping the Primarina. I'm gonna sunny day Terra ground because that gets rid of my fairy weakness, and sunny day gets rid of my new water weakness. So if Primarina lives this hit, we're good. Uh, and I was thinking Earthquake in case Incense swaps, or the Kilowattral Terras. But if Rillaboom swapped in, that would half the power of Earthquake. There's a Thunderbolt. I should eat that. Yeah. And here's a big Stomping Tantrum with Life Orb and Terra, but I'm only Jolly. Yeah, it doesn't quite do it. And a Moonblast to eat that. Yeah, we eat that. Okay, this game ain't over though. We're probably in air slash range. Let's foul play that kilowatt roll, maybe. And go for a protect. Kilowatt roll's still a massive threat, honestly. It has a sash, it has air slash. This ain't over. This Kilowattro could bring it back. Yeah, there's Air Slash. It had to be Air Slash there. I think Murkrow should be faster than Prim, right? Yeah, there's Foul Play. Does something to Kilowattro. I'll take it. Moonblast takes out Tiny Torn. Perfect. I'm cool with that because Kilo oh, Kilowattro has Protect too. Uh, because that means I can bring in Charizard. Your only chance of stopping Charizard is with a Thunderbolt. How much Tailwind is left, actually? Only one turn of Tailwind, so they could double protect, actually. And then Tailwind Hyper Voice shouldn't take out Charizard. So yeah, I can Heat Wave 
and Dragon Claw Kilowattful. Is that the right play? No, I don't think that was the right play. Oh no, am I still gonna lose this? I'm still gonna lose this! Oh, there's no shot. There's no shot! That is not the play I expected. Wow, okay. Well played. Oh man. Torkoal is definitely not the mod I wanted to I want to have last right now. Uh-oh. Tailwind ends, tailwind ends. Oh, but I have Torkoal. That's so bad. Oh, versus Incineroar? Yeah, no shot. Alright. And I lose to Evan. Ah. Oh. I guess I don't give up, right? This is a free fake out turn? No, I'm out of here. I am out of here. GG's, Evan. Wow. Started out pretty strong, but just couldn't carry it home. Alright, here we go. Uh, I'm scared of Encore Whimsicott. I'm really scared of Choice Band Basque Legion. Uh, Amoongus isn't too fun to fight either. Uh, Whimsicott is Terra Water at least. Stellar Pelipper. Rocky Helmet Amoongus. No! Okay, Mouse, you're out. <laughs> I could deal with one Steel type and one Ghost, but not a Rocky Helmet Amoongus. Alright, uh. I say Charizard Murkrow, and they respond with. Wave Crashing with Basket Legion, right? Yeah. Um. <laughs> Uh, I could block priority, but I could just also protect from the priority move. Garchomp, eh. I don't want Torkoal. I'm not putting up Trick Room. Ain't no shot I'm putting up Trick Room here. So I don't want Torkoal. Which means I need more offense, so I need Garchomp. Do I bring Mousehold anyway? when it can just get Rage Powder Rocky Helmeted at any time. No way, right? Perigraph can block Encore, it can block Fake Out. I've got Thunderbolt for the Basket Legion and Pelipper. Yeah, that should be okay. Alright, well, we'll see how it goes. We will see how it goes. Uh, and it looks like my opponent was 2-2 two, two on 3-1. That's not much different. Okay. Uh, Incin Pelipper. Fine. If I want to Sunny Day and use a move, there's no way I can do both. Could swap for Rigoraph to block the fake out, but then Charizard isn't doing anything. I could swap for Rigoraph to block the fake out the other way, but then again, Charizard's not even on the field then. I could bring in Garchomp. Do I want to tear a ghost here? I don't. Oh, this could be bad. This could be really bad. I should have terra ghosted. I should have just done it. Yeah, that's a fake out into the Murkrow. And where's the weather ball at? Into guard jump. Ouch! That's gonna hurt. That's gonna hurt a lot. Okay. All right. Terra Dragon Ensign. My sunny day might be too obvious. Stomping Tantrum can be taken by a Whimsicott Swap? Uh, that's not too bad. I could always just Earthquake.
and Sunny Day. Okay, Ensign does swap. Who into? Basky Legion. I like Earthquaking that. And Pelipper stays in, actually. You're gonna throw a low accuracy hurricane? Have to bask, that's nice. And a fire weather ball in the Garchomp. I'm definitely in Aqua Jet range now. Oh, well, I'm in Weather Ball range now. Ha! <laughs> Alright, there goes that. Let's bring in Charizard. A Choice Banded Aqua Jet in the sun is going to hurt. But not if I swap in for Rigorath. We know Instant's probably coming in. Air of Fire Heat Wave. Yeah, bring in Farigarath. I think this is fine. Wait, is Pelipper gonna stay in? Yeah, Pelipper's gonna stay in. That's interesting. That's really interesting. Wow, okay. Okay, this guy's making some plays. We'll see if they're the right play. Heatwave misses. On the Basque Legion! That's gotta be game right there. That was, that was a huge miss. Uh, what are they going for? Please, last respects my Ferrigarath or something. Weather Ball into Ferrigarath. Oh, it's gonna wave crash, and I'm gonna lose. Flip turn. Okay, we eat it. Good. Good, good, good. Yeah, Incineroar, obviously. Scorching Sands, 140. Overheat. More. I don't know, this is really hard. Okay, overheat. We connect into the Incineroar. We almost knock it out. Wow. Hurricane connects onto Charizard, that's really bad. What's our speed versus this Incineroar though? What is the speed on this Incineroar? There's knockoff, that's gonna hurt. That's probably gonna KO. Yeah. Ah, oh, GG. Man. Oh, that's a rough one. Okay. <sighs> a helping hand overheat. And no. A heat wave again. I mean, they swap out Pelipper for whatever their fourth is and they win. This foul play will never KO our Chaladon, Whimsicott, or Amoongus. Yep, that's game over right there. GG's. Okay, so I got absolutely cooked last time. Let's not repeat that. Okay? Okay. We're gonna go mouse hold. Charizard, Torkoal, Ferrigarath. No. Maybe? I didn't get to see whether there was an Amoongus last time. But whether there is or not, I can always U-turn into Torkoal and throw a fire move, or hard swap into Torkoal and throw a fire move. 
And then I just feel like Farigarath is a good last. Blocking some priority. Uh, Garchomp's fine too. Garchomp's better. I could always double protect on a fake out turn. Yeah. Yeah, that's what I'm gonna go with. I, I got cooked last time I fought this guy. Uh, good luck, have fun. Here we go. No, I got this. I missed the heat wave last time. We're just not gonna do that this time. Caliper Insin, fine. Fine by me. Ain't no way you don't... There's no way you would know... Okay. Could be a fake out into Mousehold and, and Tailwind. Could be a fake out into Charizard. I think the fake out into mouse hold is more likely. I'm gonna bring in Torkoal. I'm not gonna Terra. I don't think Terra gives me anything here. I'm just gonna throw a Heat Wave. Cause Pelipper's gonna sash up anyway. I'm not gonna Oko the Incineroar. With a Heat Wave. Terra Fire Overheat almost does it. Fake out, I get the fake out call right, that's perfect. Heat wave double connects, let's go. Beautiful. And then a weather ball into my Torkoal. My Torkoal is the target I would like to get hit by that. Thank you. Alright. Now we can turn up the tempo. Who you got to swap into this? Who you got to swap in if I helping hand boost? Helping Hand, Terra Fire, Heat Wave, let's go. Let's do it. I'm putting out so much damage this turn. You can have the Weather Back. I don't need it. I'm not asking for the Weather Back. I'm asking for some dead Mons on your side. Don't miss the Basque Legion this time, Charizard. Please, I'm begging you. <laughs> it's a big target. It's a big target, because it can do a lot of damage, and Mouse Hold can't touch it. So I want you to hit the Basque Legion. Let's clap for the Charizard. Clap, 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 clap. Let's double connect Heat Wave. And let's see what this damage looks like. Woo! Woo! That is some damage right there. That is what I'm talking about. Yeah. Yeah, Charizard. Let's go. Let's go. That is what I'm talking about. Two resists? What resists? Nothing resists. Alright, let's finally see their fourth Pokemon. It is Archaladon. They have every right to Tailwind here, <laughs> as they should. I think I'll give them Mouse Hold and Protect. The Archaladon could get a little out of control. It's going to get a plus one from Electro Shot. We're going to try to stall out as much as we can. I think I'm going to give them Torkoal for free just to get Sun back. There's a Weather Ball into Charizard. That's a good start. That's not Tailwind. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. That was not Tailwind. That move you just clicked was not Tailwind. Do you have Tailwind? Am I, am I confused? Oh, I, mean, I can't read a team sheet. They don't have Tailwind. I can't read a team sheet. They have Y-Guard, not Tailwind. Oh, no. Oh, I've been playing this all wrong. I Torkoal, and if I heat, hit Overheat, I win. Yeah. Ooh, okay. They don't have Tailwind. 
I could have Oh, because they have Whimsicott, of course. Why would they have Tailwind on Pelipper if they have Whimsicott? And here's the overheat. That should take out our Chaladon. Yeah, get out of here, our Chaladon. Okay. Okay, we can do this. We can do this. It's a best of three now, so this isn't, like, this isn't it. This this one is it. This game's over. But the whole game isn't over. I'll just throw a weather ball and another overheat here. All right, game one is me. That's great. Whew. All right, let's do it. Now that I know what their team is. Ensign, Pelipper, our Chaladon Basque Legion. What do I have for our... The only thing I have for our Chaladon is Charizard. So I better bring Charizard and a way to set Sun. I think Torkoal works pretty well for setting Sun. Mousehold, Charizard, Torkoal. Is it ever for Rigorath? I know there's going to try to be a fake out turn. Or do I just bring Garchomp so I can actually do damage if Charizard doesn't work out? I think I still bring Garchomp. Yeah, I think I need to do this. There could definitely be a change up from their end. They just need one turn with Swift Swim Basque Legion and I could be in a lot of trouble. What, Basque Legion gets one wave crash in the wrong spot, and I am in huge trouble. I also have to be careful, because they have two potential swaps. And sin on Moongus. Okay, at least I can double protect this first turn. No need to get fancy. Protect. Protect. Get rid of their fake out turn. They're not gonna burn Terra on the Amoongus for some reason. They must be faking out Charizard. Rage Powder fake out Charizard is pretty free, but that's not a very offensive play. And a Spore attempt into Charizard. Okay. I want to risk a pop bomb. No, I think I want to U-turn into the sun. Maybe. Terrifier overheat the Amoongus. Get that mushroom out of here. Because there's something they didn't bring. They don't have both our Chaladon and Basque Legion. There's no way that's their at back line. Protect from Amoongus. Fine. I do get hit by a parting shot or a knockoff here. For free. That was a good play. That was that was a really good call there. I could have pop bombed the Incineroar. There's a knockoff of my charcoal. Big damage. I'm gonna pop bomb Ensign. And throw a Scorching Sands at Ensign. Okay, yeah, Amoongus swaps. Good. Very good. Into Pelipper. Really? When I was clicking U turn on that slot before. 
Alright, pop bomb. Show me some good damage. Four. Five. Six. Seven. Eight. Nine. Ten. I think that's Scorching Sands range. I think we're good. Get out of here. Get out of here, Ensign. Yeah. And I have the pressure because you brought Pelipper in already. I did lose my charcoal, though. That's kind of sad. And that Pelipper has wide guard, so I can't just go for a free. Um, there's Basque Legion. Aqua Jet and the Sun KO me because you can't protect. Pelipper might want to swap just to get rain back later. I don't think Choice Band Aqua Jet and the Sun can KO me. Bring in Torkoal. Click Overheat. That's got to be the play. Like, yeah, you're going to get your weather back. Because you can swap Pelipper this turn. Oh, but you don't. Oh, you don't Aqua Jet either. So this better KO. It does. That's good. That's really good. Oh, we just got weather. Uh, weather's a lot less important now. Now that Charizard is basically out if they attack it. Oh, they don't attack it. Uh, yeah, I'd love to keep Charizard around. Thanks. Thanks for that. Maybe I don't want to keep Charizard around. I want to damage that Amoongus one way or another. I think it's fine to break Pelipper's Sash here. These Pokemon are more important, actually. Weather Ball Pelipper. Overheat Pelipper. That's what I want to go for. Amoongus protects. Yes, that's great. Connecting the overheat. That's amazing. Minus two. Still brings Pelipper to Sash. Oh, it was a crit. Okay, never mind. Never mind, that was a crit. <laughs> Minus two don't count. And a hurricane into Charizard. Thank you for cleaning Charizard away for me. Thank you so much. Weather Ball will take care of Pelipper. Okay, Amoongus, what are we looking at? We're looking at a Rocky Helmet, Pollen Puff, Spore, Rage Powder, Protect. Mousehold can't do much, but it can follow me while I throw Weather Balls. Yeah. Battle is cancelled. That is the top 8 match. Let's go. Alright, here we go versus Evan again. Evan is terrifying. I've fought Evan, I don't know. It's, every time I've fought him, it's appeared on this channel. And he's won every time except once. And maybe this time. We'll see. Okay. Last time it was Kilowattral High Dragon. Which on its own is pretty scary. <sighs> I could match Tailwinds, but I don't think that gets me far enough. I think I need to go Trick Room. I think I need to go Mouse Hold and Grazing Bolt here. Get Trick Room up. Be unfake outable. Bring in Torkoal. And then finally, is it Charizard? Or is it Garchomp? 
Don't love either. Pre Marina is a problem. Unless Mousehold can take care of it early on. Um, yeah, fire offense. I'm locking it in. Alright, this is a best of three. So, we'll see how it goes. I don't gotta win the first one. I do gotta win the first one. Well, I don't, I don't have to win the first one. Typically, you don't win the first one, it's, it's a tough match. Alright. Kill a watch will hide dragon. Same as before. Okay. Let's take a look. Draco, Dark Pulse, Heat Wave, Earth Power, Terra Fire. You would have to Tailwind to get a hit off with High Dragon. In which case, I'll Trick Room. And Pop Bomb. Your High Dragon. Deal with it. I'm so scared. I am so scared here. Okay, they do go for the Tailwind. Gotcha. Are you gonna stop my Trick Room though? No, you're gonna Dark Pulse the Mouse Hold who lives! Oh, I get the KO and I get Trick Room up. Well, we'll see. We'll see if it KOs. I could always miss any single one of these. They're only 99 accuracy each. High Dragon down, Trick Room up, into Tailwind. Let's go. Now that's not over. They can have a ghost type in the back, which completely walls everything I have on the field right now. The 1 HP mouse! 1 HP mouse old! I didn't count for that. Okay, hi Instant. Whatever. If I know Evan, his Instant's faster than this for a graph, so I can go ahead and... Oh, it's Terra Ghost Instant? And Terra goes Kilowatt Well, you can't do both. Hyper Voice. Pop on the Kilowatt Roll. Yep, here's a Terra. Uh, it could be Terra Insin, Parting Shot for Rigorath and protect Kilowattrel. Or it could just be knockoff, make sure I don't get my throat spray boost. Yep, there's a protect. I should have got Torkoal in. I'm a fool. Yeah, knockoff onto Perigarath. Fine. Good job stalling a turn of Trick Room. Okay. Respect. Oh, and then they have Tailwind up too, so of course I was gonna go first. Alright, their swap ins for Pop Bomb could be Golden Go. They could have Golden Go. Alright. Let's throw a Thunderbolt over at Ensign. And another pop bomb toward Kilowatt Roll. Alright, we get the Thunderbolt there. How fast is your Ensign? Still slower than my mouse hold, fine. Understandable. And there's a Thunderbolt taking me out. Cool. Cool. Stalling Trick Room pretty well, but you got rid of your fire typing, which makes Torkoal really strong. And you've still got Tailwind up for one more turn, but you can stall that out a little bit. Uh, depending on the instant speed stat, which we still don't know, Charizard might be going before it. Two turns of Trick Room, only one turn of Tailwind. Uh, I'm definitely going to put everything I have into this Eruption. Should be enough to take out instant from here. And then I should also attack the kilowatt roll. But I don't have a move better than 90 accuracy on Charizard. 
That can hit Kilowattril. It's not over. I'm in a pretty good position, though. I could have done better. I should have used Follow Me on the knockoff turn, or at least U-turn. Swapping Ensign for another Fake Out later is smart. <clears throat> Free Marine is not going to take the double up, though. I guess I could have sent Terra onto Charizard instead. Would that have been smarter? As long as I connect both fire moves, Pre Marina goes down. And then you can only fake out one thing. And there's no protect from the Kilowattril here. Yeah, as long as I connect the Heat Wave, I think these both go down. Connect both Heat Waves. Pre Marina still lives. Wow. Okay. Fake out Torkoal Hyper Voice. But then I get out of Trick Room with a Protect. And neither your Pokemon can take a Heat Wave anymore, so I would have to connect both Heat Waves. And just in case you don't go for the Fake Out onto Torkoal. I mean, I should attack with... I, I have to attack with Torkoal. There's no point in not clicking Eruption, but I should also click Protect. Because they've got... Should be a fake out Calm Mind, actually. If you're for real, for real. Well, it could be. I don't know if that matters. I think I think Charizard got this as long as it can hit moves. So I'll Erupt. Protect. But if Charizard can hit a move, is actually a big yeah. This Calm Mind or Hyper Voice? I think both are reasonable. Hyper Voice? Okay. Alright, another Hyper Voice will take out Torkoal. Three turns of sun. You're not getting out of sun. I'm trying to think, is there any reason not to click Helping Hand? Heat Wave. KO's Primarina. Misses Incineroar. Then I should have Weather Ball. Yeah, okay. Primarina Protect makes sense. You do got a fish for this heat wave miss though, because I'm pretty sure it takes Ensign from here. Good connect. Goodbye, Ensign. Great. Alright, looking good, looking good, looking real good. I win this game 90% of the time. Uh, do I ever click Helping Hand Scorching Sands? Overheat is 130, 1.5, 1.5. Oh, it's so much stronger than Scorching Sands. Definitely don't need a Helping Hand, though. Half of... Yeah, Weather Ball as well. Yeah, I gotta click Overheat. Oh no! No, you're kidding me! Charizard, no! No! Oh no! Last turn of sun, sun ends here, so Charizard won't go down, but then there's no way I have the damage yet without the sun. Should I have Helping Hand Scorching Sands? I don't know if that's enough. I think I needed to Heat Wave. Uh, not Heat Wave, Overheat. Oh no. Well, now that there's no sun, Overheat is just... 
still stronger. There's no way this KO's without a crit now. Oh yeah, just go ahead and miss another one, Charizard. Why don't you? No! No! Charizard, no! It's summoning the Chi Yu in him. Man. <laughs> All right, here we go again. Oh, shake it off, shake it off. Okay. Dark Pulse isn't going to KO Mousehold. Could be a double up into Perigarath. They're going to bring those four. If they do the exact same thing, I can get something with Murkrow Mousehold turn one. But I really need to respect that bird. It's faster than my whole team. I, I don't hate Farigarath, Mousehold, Torkoal, Charizard. It should have worked. I, if I'm being honest, it should have worked. Evan's the one who needs to adapt, except he also has a win over me. <laughs> same exact thing happens, I win. But the same exact thing's not gonna happen. But we'll see. Evan is a good player, and so if you miss overheat against a good player, they're gonna they're gonna win. I mean, how much accuracy did I rely on there? I had to connect some heat waves. I had to connect, what, two heat waves, three heat waves, and an overheat? That's a lot. 0.9 to the fourth. Uh, exact same lead for both of us. Nobody wants to make a change. Alright, if I pop bomb. So I think I trick room. But should I Terra? Could be a Draco Meteor into either slot. Could follow me a Thunderbolt and get Trick Room up. No, I'm going to... Yeah, I'm going to Trick Room. And this time I'm going to click Follow Me. I don't think we're going to see a Tailwind this time. We do see a Tailwind this time. Do we see a Draco Meteor this time? That would be amazing. Nope, just a Dark Pulse. What's the roll? We live even better this time. Okay, so it wasn't, it wasn't some sort of roll. All right, let's Thunderbolt the Kilowattril just to break the Sash. And I want Thunderbolt instead of Hyper Voice. Uh, no, they can't. Yeah, I do want Thunderbolt. No, because Hyper Voice guarantees I get the Throat Spray. Unless they have Golden Go. I'm gonna Thunderbolt Kilowattril. I'm gonna pop bomb High Dragon. If they swap Golden Go into that slot, Incineroar, fine. Don't care. Fine by me. I am perfectly happy with an intimidated pop bomb. Really wish I hyper voice now. <laughs> oh, good damage. Good crit. Pop bomb. One. Two. Oh, that's enough. Three. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. I only needed one to crit, and it hits ten times, so there's a good chance one of them's gonna crit. That's the power of Hot Bomb, baby. Uh, we know Incin's gonna go first before Mouse Hold. Sucks, but what can you do? 
Could be a Protect from Primarina. I'm gonna Hyper Voice and follow me. I want the mouse gone now. We don't see a Terra, we don't see a Protect. I guess the follow me is pointless if Primarina goes first. But I still get to pop my throat spray. Okay, good. Incineroar goes first. That's fantastic. That is ideal. So now I only have to take one hit, but it's probably single target now. Uh, I don't have to take any hits. It's a Calm Mind. And your Terra Steel. So good luck getting around Hyper Voice Eruption. Thunderbolted, I Hyper Voice. Two more turns of Trick Room. Primarina should protect on one of them. Do I think Eruption takes out Ensign? For free. Yeah, I want to terrastalize Thunderbolt. No, here's what I can do. I can Terra Thunderbolt Prim. <sighs> I'll just hyper voice eruption, not burn Terra here. Yeah, Primarina had to protect there. And if Incineroar went Terra Ghost, it would get got by the eruption for sure. Was this enough? Okay, that was enough. I could have gone for Thunderbolt. I will this time. I got one more Trick Room turn, and I'm gonna use it for Terra Electric plus one Thunderbolt from Farigaram. Good luck on the Double Protect. Okay, their Tailwind is gone. Theoretically, they could be slower. No, because Incineroar went first. And we, we know Incin versus Farigarath speed. And so we know Primarina versus Farigarath speed. Alright, let's Terra Electric, Thunderbolt the Prim, and Erupt. Alright, here comes our Terra. <laughs> Watch will protect, that's just what it has to do here. Yep, here's our eruption. Let's see if you can take. Well, let's see how much eruption does first. Oh, that's pretty decent. Oh, I don't think you're taking this Thunderbolt. Let's go, Grazing Bolt. Hit him. Yeah! Let's go! There we go! Okay, you're never taking down this this Perigarath. <laughs> Not with just Kilowattra left. Let's go. And that's competitive Terra Ghost. Alright, so I just keep Thunderbolting. And Weather Ball. GG. Alright, going to game three. Thank you, Grazing Bolt. Alright, here we go. I'm going to do the same thing. Because game one, I feel like I could have won. Maybe should have won. Hard to say. Game two, it was close. Game two, I had to crit the high dragon. I had to get some other stuff right, but it worked out. And these are the four I brought when it worked out. Is there any reason I should go Garchomp instead of Charizard? Garchomp doesn't get O-Code by Kilowattril. That's a pretty good reason to go Garchomp. Sits in the same speed tier as Charizard relative to his team. 
I don't think Rillaboom's coming. I don't think Golden Ghost's coming. I think they're gonna do the same thing. And we'll see how it goes this time. And I'm bringing Garchomp this time. I'm doing a slight change up in the back. Just because I feel Garchomp can close out the game a little better. Just because it can take one hit from Kilowattral. And that might be what saves the day. Though they'll have to go for Air Slash and probably punch me. <laughs> That's how the RNG's been <laughs> against Evan. Uh, but let's see how it goes. Instant High Dragon. Okay. Pretty cool, pretty cool. Definitely very cool. Alright. What I can do here is I can't get faked out. The High Dragon, I don't think the High Dragon's bait, right? This could be a massive play for them if the High Dragon is bait. And they swap it to Golden Go. I always keep being afraid of Golden Go. If it's Golden Go, I should set Trick Room. And Terra Normal will give me the oomph I need to KO with Hot Bomb. Okay, good. No swaps. Whew. Whew. Let's go, Mouse Hold! Put on that crown. I know I haven't terrestrialized you all day, but it's time. Every single Mon on this team is a threat, and you must deal with it. One. Two. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight. No crit needed. Get out of here, High Dragon. Let's go. And a knockoff into Furgraph. It'll do a lot. I'll give you that. It did a lot. But I got my Trick Room. All right. Here's Pre Marina. We know Insin will go first. It's probably Hyper Voice plus Knockoff. I think I'll take a free Thunderbolt under Prim. Do I protect Mouse Hold here? If it's a protect from Prim so you don't get Thunderbolted. Just in case it's a passive turn, I'm gonna Thunderbolt the Primarina and you turn the Incineroar. That way, if they try to avoid KOing Mouse Hold, I still get Torkoal in. Okay, they don't go a passive route. Cool. Incineroar, thankfully, does not have Will-O-Wisp. Oh, I don't know. This is gonna be a tough one to finish out, though. I don't know if that was the right play. I don't know. I still had Mouse. Oh, that doesn't help. Primarina just attacked, it could protect here, but that would give Garchomp an opening. It should Moonblast, meaning I should protect Garchomp. But I can't protect Torkoal. So there's no way they Moonblast. No shot, they don't Moonblast. Calling it right here, no Moonblast. I don't want to see no stinky moon blast. There's a knockoff into Torkoal and a hyper voice, right? Right? Wrong. Good game, Evan. Ooh, that was a tough one. GG.
Three protect on guard shot there. I guess you keep the pressure up. But I could get out of Trick Room, because now Weather Ball KOs Pre-Marina. And Garchomp would have been able to survive. Ah, well played. I'm going to click Eruption. It might take Pre-Marina here. Okay, they just protect Pre-Marina. They want to get more damage off or a parting shot. Uh, I, I could have quit there, but like, because it is over. And it is over. Well, if I'm gonna get knocked out of, of... Yeah, it's a parting shot. Uh, I can still crit! I can still crit through that! That isn't... That isn't game over. That doesn't lock down the game permanent. You got something that can KO me in the back? Uh, yeah. That'll protect. Then you get a fake out turn. And a thunderbolt. Evan knows what he's doing. There's no, there's no way I take a thunderbolt from here anyway. I mean, I, I might live on low, but you've got Sash. I've got one turn of Trick Room. How big could you throw? Accidentally Thunderbolting yourself? Accidentally Tailwinding? Sure, I'll click Eruption. I'll play the game. And I'll crit the Pre-Marina too, just so you watch. Yeah, because they get the Fake Out turn into Thunderbolt, then they get Thunderbolt into Knock Off. And then since they have Sash, that was if I got a crit there. <laughs> Alright, GG's Evan. I'm gonna I'm gonna go ahead and cut this to the end. I am out of here. There is no longer any chance I can win this. Whew. And we're back. If I'm gonna get knocked out of top four like that, I would want it to be by my bro, Evan. Congrats, Evan. I hope you go far in this. Uh, I'll, I'll post the results down below. I'm, I, this is right after the tournament. I haven't uh, seen whether he wins in the finals, but he's in the finals, which is amazing. Uh, but anyways, I hope you like this team. Go ahead and try it out yourself. It's super strong. Uh, but anyways, I'm Jordy, and uh, all right, peace.